lives in a pineapple under the sea. Splash, splash, square fish! And yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Karen 2.0, requested by Scourge for Life and Tanya Costa. So, this episode is very basic. The storyline is about when Plankton replaces Karen with a newer upgrade called. Karen 2, or Karen 2.0, as the episode is titled. This hurts Karen's feelings, so because of that, she decides not to live with Plankton anymore. So in my opinion, Karen 2.0 is a very fantastic episode. I really love this episode. It's simple, and it gets to the point, really. This episode is really fast-paced. It really does go by fast but in a good way. Now I love it when the writers could come up with something basic for a Spongebob episode and for the most part I do feel like they succeed at that. Karen 2.0 is one of those episodes and it's also a great episode because this series even though there are so many episodes in Spongebob Squarepants there's barely an episode that focuses on Karen. Karen 2.0 might be the best Karen episode in my opinion. I just thought it was very well written. It was something creative. This is also just hands down one of the funniest SpongeBob episodes I've seen. I was never bored once. I was always entertained. There was always a funny moment going on. Oh, and I believe this is the episode where you actually see the most facial expressions from Karen and those were really hilarious to watch too. And then we also get to the final few minutes where it's Karen versus Karen 2.0 where the two of them smack talk each other at the Krusty Krab. I found that very humorous. And what also surprised me about the episode is how we get a nice touch of heart by Plankton because for once Instead of trying to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula, he actually tries to save Karen. And he really cared for Karen. Yes, it's Plankton's fault for being a little bit selfish and all that. But it's nice to see that at the end of the day, he actually does care for Karen. And to see him make a sacrifice for Karen over the secret formula just shows that Plankton really does have a heart. And I really want to see more of that from Plankton because yes, Plankton wants to steal a formula, yes, he's bad, but he's a bad guy that actually has a heart. That's what I could really appreciate about the character and I really admire the writers for doing something like that. Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob were also very hilarious together. And the ending of the episode was very funny too, where Squidward has a computer screen on him. He's like, welcome to the Krusty Krab. May I take your order? Beep, beep. It's hilarious. It's well written. It's fantastic. It's well paced. There's not a single moment that bored me. It was just pure entertainment. It's simple, but just a very awesome episode overall. So Karen 2.0, of course, gets a 10 out of 10. I loved everything about this episode. It's got the heart, it's got the humor, it's got great writing. It's just a very well put together episode in my opinion. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!